If you would like a chance to win 100 redeems in every new BSPK video, all you gotta do is comment your in-game name, like the video, and subscribe. Winners will be announced at the end of every video. Oh, and turn on post notifications because I might sometimes choose the first commenter to win. Good luck. Yo, what is going on guys? Zach here and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started on BSPK because a lot of people actually join the server and they're just really clueless so they don't know how to get started. They're like, what is going on? So hopefully this video will help you guys out. Um, this will just give you guys basically how to get some starter cash or how to train skilling and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, let me see, what do I want to make my name? Let's see, starter. Let's try starter. I highly doubt this is available, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's available. So, um, you could just do you could do the tutorial right here. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and do the tutorial. Um, it'll give you 25 mil, which is better than 10 mil, obviously. So, um, it goes and explains some things for you. It doesn't explain everything, obviously, but uh, it basically explains the PKing part of the server and like how to spawn money, how to get some starter cash, which I am going to go over for you guys. So, let me just skip through here real quick. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so whenever you actually join the server, if you come from me, uh, you can click this YouTube button, and we're just gonna type in Zach TX like that, and or you can type Zach, no, type Zach TX. That's probably that'll be better, and you will get some free stuff. Um, you get extra money actually whenever you refer somebody, and you get a what, what was it right here? I think it's in my bank. I think it sends it to your bank. You get a uh, starter whip light, which which is a whip that hits twice as fast. Oh, and it also gives you a starter crate. I wonder if this is. I wonder if this is from purely from that. Uh, let's see. You've been rewarded ten million coins for filling out the referral. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you get the starter crate regardless, but here it is right here. Let's see. You can get a starter armor, of god sword, starter dragon claws, starter dark bow. Um, I'm gonna choose the dragon claws. But what this is is, it, I'm pretty sure it gives you like a limited amount of specs if i'm not mistaken um yeah 25 special attacks left so you can spec with this thing 25 times before it automatically goes to dust but once you join the server uh you're probably wondering all right well what do i do now well you can actually use that starter cast to buy a derox set so you can go colon colon gear and uh there's derox right here which is 10 mil and you can have full derox and then you can go over to evil chickens you can either get right into pking which a lot of people do. Um, so PKing is right down here. You can spawn gear by just typing colon colon gear, and you can click melee, which is typically what everybody uses. But you can use Derox. Uh, you can use your starter cash to buy some Derox and go out here and PK because you're probably going to get stomped on if you're wearing this, unless you're like a really skilled PKer, then you can probably kill somebody with it. But um, obviously, you're not going to be using your Dragon Dagger. You're going to be using your Starter Claws or your Starter AGS that you got. Um, but also, oh, I can't do Colon Colon Bake. Dang it. But another thing that you guys need to know is, well, I could keep it short and say just do Colon Colon Commands, which you can. I feel like that should be self-explanatory. Everybody should know how to do that. But you'd be surprised. People are like, how do I do this? How do I do that? But um, there's everything you really need right there. You can call, you can spawn your Venge runes. You can turn your uh, curses on and off by using the command. Um, you can switch your spell book. Everything, everything is on here. Everything you need. So definitely do colon colon commands whenever you join the server because it's going to help you out tremendously. To get some starter cash, you like I said earlier, you can either go PK. There's also a Slayer option, which you can come down here and uh, go to the Spirit Tree. And this freaking bank pin thing's in my way. So yeah, you can go here and click Slayer, and then you can start Slayer that way. Let me just go ahead and set a pin, because this thing's annoying. Okay, so the pin has been set. So, for the main part, the, the best way to actually make some starter money is to kill evil chickens. So basically, to kill evil chickens, you can go to the PVM teleports here, and go through here and click evil chicken. And this is what I was telling you guys to get full Derox for, because with, um, I mean, you see people here using light weapons and like really good gear, but uh, since you're poor and you just started, you're going to use Derox like these guys are doing right here. Um, you can get yourself down to 1 HP by getting a rock cake. 
and then you all you got to do is protect mage so um you can get a rock cake by going to the store over here so you just come up here and you talk to the miscellaneous store guy and he has rock cakes here which you can get for one gp um and then you can set your HP with it. It's actually different from real RuneScape. Let me actually show you real quick. So you only need to buy it once. So once you buy it, um, all you gotta do is just click it, click E, and you can say desired HP. You can type one and it'll set you to one HP, but you cannot uh, set your HP higher, obviously. But yeah, you can set it to as low as you want, all the way down to one, and then you can go kill evil chickens with Protect Mage on and you will hit the maximum you can hit. So that's how to do that. So yeah, once you have some cash, um, you can either buy an upgraded Armadale God Godsword, which is like one bill, or if you're a skiller and you want to start skilling, that is another thing that's a little confusing. So once you type colon colon home here, you can go to the skilling zone right here. And a lot of people don't know how to train a lot of skills because it is different. But everything is jam packed in the skilling zone right here. So I'm gonna go every I'm gonna go over every single skill here, so you guys will know how to train them all. Obviously, combat you you automatically get that. You don't need that. So, um, where's it at? Uh, this guy right here, this is how you train runecrafting. Whoops, I kind of got confused there. Uh, the guy for runecrafting is actually right here, not not that guy. The, um, the runecrafting person is right here. This is how you teleport to the runecrafting altar. And then construction, there isn't construction, but it's actually sailing. It's a, it's a custom skill. To do sailing, you just do colon colon sailing. And if you wanna, if you wanna know how to actually train it, there's a guide on the forums you can probably find out there. Um, I'm not going to go over I'm not going to do a complete sailing guide in this video, but to train sailing, you go to colon colon sailing. Dungeoneering is actually a PvP skill, uh, so you get Dungeoneering XP every time you get a kill in the wilderness. Uh, so yeah, that's how you train Dungeoneering. Agility is not at the skilling zone. See, this is what I mean by it's a little bit confusing. You got to go home and it's where you train, uh, it's where you get to Slayer at. You go over here and you go to the Spirit Tree right here and you click agility and that's how you get to agility right there as for herb lore, you come back to the skilling zone and you run a little west over here outside these doors and you've got the two uh skilling or the two herb lore guys here their skilling shops right here they have everything you need for herb lore. thieving is right here you start off at the um not the gym stall you start off at this stall right here the baker stall and then as you go up you go silver or no you might you might do bakers then silk then silver and then the gym stall or you'll figure it out but that's how you do with thieving it's right there crafting is all the way over here you just come east from the skilling teleport and you go inside here and you talk to the master crafter and he has all the uh, crafting supplies you need the fletching guy is in this this building right here just a little bit north of the master crafter talk to him here's his shop right here as for slayer you guys saw earlier you just go over to the home you go to the tree the spirit tree that's a little bit south and then you uh click slayer and it'll take you to a slayer camp which there are multiple different um slayer npcs that you can talk to depending on your level and that's how you get tasks hunter you come out here and you're gonna run north So here's Hunter right here. You start over here at the birds, and then as you get higher, you can go all the way east over here, and they get higher leveled all the way down to uh, Red Chins, which will be at the end. For mining, you're going to want to uh, come back to the skilling zone, and mining is just right behind here. You have all the rocks all the way up until Rune all the way down there. And then smithing is literally right here. you got the anvil in here as well as the furnace. Let's just go in there real quick yeah, so I can show you. So yeah, here's the anvil right here, and here's the furnace. Um, pretty sure this guy sells the, yeah, this guy sells all the supplies you need for that. And for fishing, you're gonna run back out here, and it's gonna be way down here south. All right, so here it is right here. These are all the fishing spots that you need for fishing. And cooking is gonna be back over here. Right here, you just use this cooking range. And that's how you train cooking. Fire making is right outside the doors. It's just a bonfire. All you gotta do is add logs to it and then it'll just burn the whole inventory automatically for you. Uh, and then wood cutting is over here. You've got your regular trees, oak trees, willow, maple, yew, and your magic tree. And farming is gonna be similar to the spot um, where Hunter was, but it's just gonna be an extra bridge across, which I'm gonna show you right here. So it's gonna be this bridge right here. It's gonna be on the ice the icy area all you've got to do is get a rake which you can buy from this dude here 
There you go, there's the rake in here, and then you're just gonna rake these patches right here. And so yeah, it's 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 definitely different than RuneScape. All you, it's a lot simpler. Farming on here is very easy. You just gotta uh, rake and get a full inventory, bank the herbs or whatever you wanna do with the herbs, and then um, as you progress in level, you you come east, and then uh, see as you can see, if we try to rake this one, it's gonna say we need level 68. Uh, need 68 farming for that one, and then right here it's 85. And if you go backwards. It's going to be 45. And last but not least is summoning. Now this is actually going to be the hardest skill. So what you got to do is you have to come over here to the bank and you talk to this guy right here. Uh, he's called set skills and you go over here and you type, go to summoning, press 99 and that is how you get 99 summoning right there. I know it's really, really hard. That's probably the grindiest part of the server. I actually thought about like not playing when I first started because of that. Like it's it's insane, but yeah, that's how you get started with skilling. And if you are more of a PVMer, this is gonna be pretty much the end of the video right here. But all you've got to do is just go and talk to this global teleports guy, and he's got everything. I mean, that's everything you need um, in regards to PVM. And then you can also just go over here and press uh, PVM teleports, and you can scroll through here. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get started on the server. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will reply as soon as I see it. Um, so yeah, let's go to the previous video and pick our giveaway winner. Okay, so here we are on ytrcp.co. Uh, we got the URL here, so we're just going to click pick a random comment. Oh, I picked mine. Okay, pick a new one. Oh, dude, I actually was going to... I I was actually going to pick this guy... Um, I was thinking about just picking him because he's been commenting on all my videos and he's actually an older friend of mine. But yeah, congrats, man, Martin TX. Let's actually check and see if you are online, buddy. If you are online, we're gonna go ahead. And, all right, he's not online right now, but yeah, Martin TX. Let's, I'm just gonna go make sure that you have liked. I know you're subscribed, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if you like the video. And if so, you are good to go. All right, he is good to go. He's the real MVP. He likes all my videos. So congratulations, Martin. Uh, yeah, just message me in game whenever you see me and I will give you your 100 redeems and yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video guys. I hope this helps out all you new players and I will see you in the next one. Peace.